Hey guys, how are we going? I recently went down to Sydney to go to the IMATS IMATS and I spent everything, all my money. I'm homeless now. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got and swatch some stuff as well. So that'd be cool. Or will it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just jump right into it. We'll start with lip stuff. This is gonna get so messy. This is a NYX high voltage lipstick. And I actually got this for free when I was at... <clears throat> yep, I got this for free when I was at the NYX stand. Like, I gave them all my stuff to buy and then she gave me a bag and then chucked it in. And I was like, no, I'm okay with that. So let's just swatch this one. Where am I putting you? So this one's just like a creamy brown. Kinda wish it was matte, but... It's free, so who am I to be particular? So that's just like, no, not like that. That's what it's like, yep. I also got a lip liner in the color plush red. It's not too exciting, I just hadn't had a proper lip liner <clears throat> for red. And that's just what it looks like. Extraordinary. And then I got the Lime Crime Velveteen in Blood Moon, which I was very excited about. Mm, it smells nice. It's cold. <laughs> well, I don't know why. So that's Blood Moon there. So it's just like a really deep red, kind of plumish, but not at all. What else? Oh yeah! NYX again, the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. So this one's like a really dark purple. It really is a soft matte. Hmm. It feels nice. It's plush. And that's Transylvania there, the nice deep purple. Oh, I'm not gonna swatch this because it's too damn messy to do. This is just a regular clear gloss and it's by MAC. And it's just called Lip Gloss. Yeah, I don't know if it has any other name. If you want it, just look for the clear one, okay? Gosh. So I didn't actually want to get this for lips. I actually wanted it more for eye gloss look, so... Screw the system. I'll do what I want. Alright, next. I got the NYX Wonder Stick, which is just a cream contour and a cream highlight, which is awesome. Been really getting into cream contours and highlights lately just because it looks much more natural. And that's the only reason. That is cream contour, shockingly enough. And that's just the highlight there. It's not too bad. Yeah. But those ones blend out really well. To continue the creaminess, I got the NYX cream, uh, what's it called? It's a, a whipped, a whipped lip and cheek souffle. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one smells awesome. Yes. Cream blush is scary to use because it could go from zero to a hundred real quickly. Let's just twist the skin. That's comfy. So it looks very pigmented, but if you dab a little bit with your finger and then kind of blend it out, it becomes really sheer. Maybe not really sheer, but see? That looks kind of usable. Nah, it is really nice, but it's you really got to be careful when using it. I just got a concealer as well, nothing too special. It's by Naveen Dominic. The lady there was really nice as well. You know sometimes when you kind of like, you do want to buy the product, but you're not like nuts about it. But the, the salesman is just so nice and you just want to buy it to make them happy. That was one of those people. I'm not going to swatch it. Concealer, okay? No one cares. Oh, this one's really exciting. Okay, so this is by, it's called MAC Pro, but it's with a Q. Ah, <laughs> didn't see that one coming. Yeah, so it's called MAC Pro, one word. Um, and this is called a base strobe, and it's a cream highlight, and it's in the color rose. I'm gonna use my other arm. No, I'm gonna use back of my hand. Switch it up. This one's so pretty, so it's just like a really, not that glittery, but like a shimmery pink. Or rose, if you will. I put too much on. It smells like sunscreen. That's all right. I hope you can get this. Let me just give me a minute. I promise it is very pretty. I don't know. It's not really picking it up. There we go. So yeah, it is really cool. That one. Ooh, this part's exciting. I keep looking into like that bit of the camera instead of like in the eye. Yeah, I think it's called a viewfinder or whatever. At least if I look at that, it's almost like I'm talking to someone. It's like. Then, then I don't feel as insane. <laughs> I'm just being by myself. Anyway, let's get to this. I got the Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. 
Blaze? Base, more like it. And it is so cute. And I love the little bottle, even though, you know, there's barely anything in there, but I'm willing to forgive and forget. So I got four glitters from Eye Candy. They were doing four for $15, and I was like, take my money. I got the purple glitter in sour grape. I'm not gonna swatch these, but we'll give you a gander. I've never swatched a glitter before, so I'm not gonna start now. This one's really pretty. Nice purple. Okay, apparently that was the only glitter that had a name. The rest of these ones are just like abandoned orphans of a glitter. Okay, this one's like a dark red. That's really cool. Definitely gonna use that one for some Christmas looks or something. Oh, there's an idea for a video. I should love when things work out. Um, I got a green as well, which will work with Christmas too. And then this kind of, it's more orange than copper, but that one's a really cool coppery orange. Yeah. So that one's all from eye candy. Oh yeah, just brown mascara from NYX. Exciting. I'm gonna quickly go through the less exciting things, just so we can end with a bang. I got a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, Precision Sponge, it's some stupid thing. My window faces the driveway, so right now I can see someone who can see me. Hello! <laughs> oh lord. Okay, so I went to the Morphe area, which was, oh my gosh, it was so packed, it was stupid. I got this brush pack, again, has no name, and I have a love-hate relationship with these brushes. So they're pretty... Standard, I suppose, regular brushes. I just needed to build mine up because heaps of my brushes are like cheap eBay ones. <laughs> so I gotta fix that. But what really sucks though is all the brushes don't have a name on it. And I really wanted brushes that had like names on it. So when I'm doing a YouTube video, I can be like, this is the, the Nimbus 2000 or something. But alas, we can't get what we want. I got the Real Techniques stippling brush. So this is the one that I would use for um, my cream blush. And that, like, I just put like a dot there and then I'm like Just go nuts, pain. And this one's leading into the exciting bits, so I went to Cosette Cosette, Cosette, whatever And I got their brush, the S185 It has a name And I've been seeing this one all over YouTube With like Kayla Hagee and stuff like that And I was just like, that looks useful as balls And that, that one's just like really good for, um Crease, all that tickles. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got four eyeshadows from Cosette. You're not ready for this. You're just not, okay? Prepare yourself. Oh my gosh, this matches my nails, guys. Isn't that a little cute? That's nice. Okay, this one's called Halite. Halite, I'll write it down. It's almost like a warm silver, but it has a hint of lavender, a touch of rose. Watch it. Ooh. It's, these ones are really creamy and buttery. So these ones are like one of, probably the most pigmented shadows I've ever used in my life. So that's that one. It's so pretty. I recently used that for like a nice halo eye. It was a smashing day. Ooh, all right, let's do this one. I can't get it out. Send help. This one is Neobium, and that's just like this really cool gold shadow. I've actually got that on the center of my eyes. Why aren't I showing you what it looks like when I do it? Probably because it's very uncomfortable. So that's Neobium. That's mad. And this one's fun. I like this one. This one's called Carnelian. And it's like a awesome berry soft drink. So, sorry, it's a berry soda eyeshadow. <sighs> I've run out of hands. <sighs> I just got, excuse me. They're not satisfying to watch. Let's put a little bit more. Yeah. We're here already. Let's have fun. Let's not get eyeshadow on the camera, hey? And now, the final star of the show. It's a silver one. So this one's called Herkuma. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you know? Because I don't. Let's put this into perspective. Excuse me. Back. Okay, so Urban Decay Electric Palette. Love this guy. We've been friends for a long time. Obviously, I didn't get this one at IMATS. Yeah, if, if Urban Decay was there. Just to compare, I'm gonna swatch Revolt, which is that silver shade there. Because I've always found that silver eyeshadows were just really sucky. Silver eyeshadows, they're just, they're like, you know, I could show up, but I don't really want to. 
That's Revolt. More like Revolt. No, that's not funny enough. So now I'm gonna swatch the Cosette one in Herkimer. So that's Revolt. Get ready. Are you ready? I'm gonna apply more on the finger just so it's not like underwhelming. Shut your mouth. That is so good. Look at that. It's like, it's like someone melted like aluminium foil and just put it in a pan. And I'm okay with that. Oh, look, it, it glistens. It's just so like metallic and shiny. And, yeah, it's everything I wanted in a silver. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all of this? <laughs> okay, am I done? Oh no, okay, so I gotta tell you about the memories of the day. So I had three cool things happen that day. So I got to take a photo with R2D2, which is mad. I'll throw a photo, some of their, here, there, whatever. My husband was very jealous. He was like, you didn't tell me Star Wars was gonna be there. And I was like, oh, sorry. I got to meet Ash Clements, which was awesome. And she was really nice as well. I'll throw a selfie in there too. The fuzzy haired girl is my friend Ebony. You so kindly acquainted me. Acquainted? Yeah, that works. And the funniest thing happened that day when I was at the, actually no, I won't say the brand. I'll make sure you keep your job. At one of the stands that I bought something from, the lady gave me my bag, obviously. And I was like, thank you, walked away. And then like I bought a bunch of stuff in between then. And I was finding that the bags were getting really heavy. I had bruising on my arm, okay? Shopping is, Brutal. So um, I had a backpack with me, so I was just taking stuff out of the bags, just to put in my backpack. And then I look in one of the bags, and someone had put an iPad in there, and I was like, "What's that?" So the staff there that were putting through the purchases, they were using iPads to do all the transactions, and one of the girls had accidentally put it in my bag. So I was like, "This is gonna be interesting." So I walk it back. Actually, no, I proudly walk back. Let's describe it in all its glory. I'm marching along there towards the stand. I see the girl. I'm like, "I expected more from you." I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm not that mean. I'm somewhat kind, and I. Just kind of had the iPad in my hand, but she was actually really busy with other customers, and I was—I didn't want to seem like I was pushing it either, so I was just kind of like, "You, <laughs> hello." Um, so yeah, and she finally—I finally caught her attention, and I was like, "You, you left this in my bag," and she didn't even seem all that surprised. She was like, "Oh, okay, thank you." And I was like, "What?" And she was like, "You're really nice." I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I am. I was like, what, what am I gonna do with, with an iPad that's probably locked in to only sell? Oh, maybe I could have sent them home. Anyway, so that was fun. Thanks so much for watching me. Thanks for swatching me. That, no. Is that gonna go in there? I'll think about it. So I have done a tutorial on this eye and the other one too. I've either already posted it or it's coming up. Depends on when I choose to edit the video. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. And that's my catchphrase again. I've got a catchphrase, guys. That's how you know I'm professional. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to make people look twice.